Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, this is cool. We have an unboxing to do. I love doing unboxings. It's really one of my absolute favorite things. So this is the all new Victrola Eastwood. When I started talking to Victrola about this, I don't think it even had a name at that point. I've known about this for some time. This is their hybrid record player. And to Victrola, what that means is it can send and receive Bluetooth, but what really excites me is this bad boy right here. That would be a magnetic cartridge. Now check out this all new Victrola packaging. I think it is super, super cool. By the way, some people scoff at the name Victrola on modern equipment. I can assure you, check this out, this is cool. Look at that, premium magnetic cartridge, AT3600LA cartridge. I can assure you that, um, this company, Innovative Technology, which is actually now Victrola, has full ownership over that name. Full ownership. It is They are Victrola, which is really, really cool that somebody's taking on that brand. Okay, so let's get into this bad boy. Today, I am using a new microphone, and I am using the ring light here in the uh, open air. So I've got it on, like I said in previous videos, it has daylight mode you can change the color temperature so i've got it on full um daylight color temperature mode so it'll match the sunlight coming in as well and it's not turned up very high maybe 20 30 percent just to give it a little bit of fill because you know when you're working with electronics especially dark colored electronics sometimes there's these shadowy areas i'm really hoping to fix that to remedy that this looks so awesome all right what else do we got in here so we've got an owner's manual coupon on the back and here power supply it does have an external power supply it doesn't run on the internal on an internal AC power supply but that's okay I don't that doesn't bother me that much it bothers some people but I think it's okay All right, I'm gonna tilt down just a tad yeah having this light is really nice because it, it really allows us to see with some clarity what's going on here Okay, this is the unit itself. What a unique, unique design. <laughs> this is so cool. All right, here we go. Open it up. It's small, and I like that. This is really, really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to lift the lid. <laughs> what? Okay, 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 okay. By the way, if you're doing this for the first time, Take a look at that. That's just plastic. Interesting idea though, to make it look metal. I kind of like it. it. Got rubber nubs here. And you know what's really interesting too? I'm actually, let me see if I can remove this dust cover easily. No, I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay. Um, look at this mechanism. Doesn't that look familiar? That looks like a typical Skywind mechanism out of a uh, Suitcase player, an all-in-one, but it has a magnetic cartridge. I have never, ever seen anything like this. Typically, if you've got the magnetic cartridge on a entry-level product, they usually go with that um, mechanism that's in the Nomad and the Collegiate, which is a good mechanism. So this would be like a spring-loaded counterbalance, but I've never seen such a thing in the in the entire time I've been doing this. How unique. Let's zoom in a little bit there. Got the queuing lever and this cartridge. I mean, it's, I know it's a 3600, which is common. It's a really good entry level cartridge, but I've never seen this head shell assembly. Obviously this doesn't look like it's replaceable. So it's gonna be like a uh, LP60 where it's fixed, but you can, you can replace the needle. That is cool. Very interesting. This is pretty loose. I mean, that's pretty common, but at the same time, I always like them to be a bit tighter. Got a nice gradual descend. It is three speeds, I believe. And it sends Bluetooth, which is unique. Let's go ahead and take off this little screen protector here. Polycarbonate for the lid, I, I would assume. Really interesting. So. You can see the two speakers there, the Victrola branding. Wood around side. Let's see if there's anything on the bottom. 
Nothing on the bottom. Interesting rubber feet. Everything's a little different than anything I've ever seen before. On the back side here, we've got the label. We've got five volt power supply. We've got the left and right outputs. This is interesting. Fabricator ID. Interesting. I wonder if that's the company that made this. Okay, so let's turn this bad boy on. I have not read the instructions. There's two switches here. I think those are plastic knobs. You got a volume knob and a function switch. And you got some transport controls, Bluetooth out switch. I guess we press and hold. Okay, hi, Bluetooth. Phonograph. Okay. Let's start by um, putting the strobe disc on. And let's see how accurate the speed is. Okay, so we are going to start with 33. We're going to look right here and see what we got. It's pretty dang accurate. It is locked in. All right, we'll be going to this ring next at 45 RPM. Okay, marching a little bit to the right. So 45 is off just a tad. And then the innermost ring will be 78. Pretty close. What's that motor? I don't know if you can hear that or not, it's kind of loud. But 33 is almost dead on, okay. I don't think any of those will be off enough that you will hear it, but it's always interesting to, to check that. Okay, so so the sound quality is about on par with the suitcase player with the ceramic cartridge, actually. Um, you know, you're really not going to notice that magnetic cartridge quality until you hook this thing up to uh, some external speakers, which we're not going to do now, but we are going to connect it to Bluetooth. Really quickly, though, and I also want to check the tracking force on this because these mechanisms usually track at five to six grams which would be too much for that magnetic so i'm curious here's a 45 adapter by the way i'm curious if they've compensated wow that is a filthy record i have no business playing this record good grief it's dusty um i'm curious if they compensated for that so i'm going to flip this to 45 here's a little elvis well, that's static build up right now, but that's. Okay, after consulting my friendly manual, it's actually different than you might think. So you put it into phonograph mode, you play your record, and then you pair it to your device by pressing and holding Bluetooth. And we are paired. Okay, so let's test this tracking force. This is actually my biggest concern here. The 3600L is rated from 2.5 to 3.5 grams. And if it's tracking heavier than that, which I'm afraid this may be tracking up to 5 or 6 grams, based on this tone arm assembly, which I'm pretty familiar with, it could be too heavy and that wouldn't be a good thing. It is a conical stylus, so it's not elliptical. But uh, anyway, so 2.5 to 3.5. Let's drop the needle right at 2.5 and see. If this levels out, then we know. So it's heavier than 3 point, or 2, 2.5. No, I, where did I put it? I put a 3. It's heavier than 3, so let's go to 4. Oops. Yes, I know I need a digital scale, but this, this does work. This does work. Okay, so that's 4. That's good. So, okay. Okay, so that's good. They, they have adjusted it. It is approximately 3.5 grams. So that is the top of the range for this cartridge, and that's fine. I'm glad they did that. And, you know, somebody had mentioned to me some time ago, they're like, why don't they just put a magnetic cartridge in a suitcase player, like a Crosley or a Victrola suitcase player? Well, you have to have the preamp circuitry, and then the other concern is the uh, spring balance, the counterbalance tone arm. You can't be putting five and six grams down on a cartridge that's not designed for it. This one is. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts on this guy. 
Okay, my final thoughts are this. I think it's pretty good, actually. I don't have any major issues with it. Uh, this is a little bit cheap, this counterbalance tone arm setup. It's a little cheap, but again, it's always a trade-off versus you know that price point that they offer you versus the quality they're able to provide. I do think that, you know gimmicky things like painting this silver. It's okay. I, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it's supposed to look metal. Obviously, it is not. It's a belt drive turntable. The Bluetooth out functionality kind of mystifies me because I personally never do that. But at the same time, I know that's a big feature that people want. And that's something that I remember when Crosley, I think it was their T200. They came out with that. They told me, they're like, we don't know why people want this, but they want this. So Victrola was smart to do that. I think that that is definitely something people ask for. The, the suitcase Victrola, the one that just receives Bluetooth, I get questions all the time. You know, how do I connect this to my headphones, my speaker? They do make a model that does do that. And this will do that as well. So I think, again, that's smart. You always can use a Bluetooth speaker connection, so that's cool too. The headphone for private listening. The magnetic cartridge, interesting choice. You're gonna notice the quality, not so much on these speakers, because again, it sounds the same just to the ear because of the size of speakers and whatnot, but connected to an external amplifier, connected to the headphones, or a nice Bluetooth speaker. My Google Home speaker audio quality isn't the greatest, so you weren't able to really test the sound quality in that way. But connecting the headphone jack or the audio output, you would really, hear the benefits of that. And we may do more tests along those lines in the future. But anyway, that's gonna do it for now. I would recommend this. I'll put a link down in the description below. I was really anxious to see this, a very, very unique device. And I love it when things are new and unique. I think that's really cool. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today. Happy record hunting. We will see you tomorrow.